Good morning. Very crisp morning, about 10 degrees. We've just had our coffee at the BP Norseman Roadhouse and we're heading up to Kalgoorlie. Only a short ride today, a few hours, a couple hundred k's. It's a bit of a rest day given how many kilometres we've already done. Today should take us up to about 4,000. Happy days. Out on the left here is an ore train. It's kilometres and kilometres long. It hauls ore. I'm not sure whether that's gold ore or iron ore from the mines. Entering Boulder or Kalgoorlie. Uh, this is where the super pit is located. Understand, could be wrong, but I understand that this is the largest open cut in the world. It's a gold mine. They say it can be easily seen from space. G'day to our black sheep brothers in Thailand and the nomads in Belgium. Currently, a couple of the sheep, mainly Glav and the Rock, are roaming around the pastures of Australia. After we complete our 15,000 kilometre lap, we'll be back to roam Thailand again, probably before the end of May. See you soon. <laughs> Good morning everyone, beginning of day seven, just exiting Kalgoorlie, had a relaxing day yesterday at the Skimpy pub, anyone wants to know about that you better ask me privately, um, it's 13 degrees Celsius, 6.45 and unfortunately we've had to put the wets on, we've checked the uh, bomb and the it's Bureau of Meteorology and a couple other weather apps, a huge storm coming before us, towards us, and we've got to ride through it. So it's easier putting the wet weather gear on in the room than it is out on the road, I can tell you that. Anyway, let's hope it's not too hard and we can get these wets off because they're uncomfortable once we're through it. Big ride today. Uh, didn't take long, <clears throat> didn't even get two or three kilometres out of town before I started to piss down. Anyway, never mind, that's part of biking. Interesting colours and the foliage on the side, you know, yellows and reds. And still raining a bit. I reckon another 50 k's we might clear this rain. Now the landscape changes. Even the colour of the dirt changes, it's gone from red back to a yellowy colour, yellowy orange and the landscape changes again Had to happen Dirt happens every trip. 
and the scenery changes again. About 120 k still outside Albany. Rolling into Albany now after 842 kilometres. You needed to have your big boy pants on today. The day started out with a couple of hours of shitty rain and then we had to do the rest. It took us up to about, about 845 by the time we get to the hotel. Good day though, but hard ride. Good morning, day 8, Saturday, <coughs> it's uh, 6.50 in the morning, it's 10 degrees, I don't know, with Albany it's very smoky, the smoke's covered the whole township, anyway, we're out of here, today we'll wind up in Perth this evening, uh, 600 odd kilometres today, going through patches of pea soup fog down in the lows you can't see 50 fucking feet in front of you it's in real bush country too so Roo's oh, it's going to make slow going holy shit is it thick can't sleep, see very far far out this is now not fog it's uh, smoke from bushfires militating quite thick I got no choice, press on, stop whining. Yeah, ah, nice roads now, out of the smoke. Fire trucks everywhere, so it must be a big bushfire somewhere. Nice windy roads now. What a road. Just high speed corner to high speed corner. Who would have thought? Beautiful bit of road. Uh, we're on the Bass Highway heading to Pemberton and then the Margaret River Wine District. We're already passing through vineyards and also fruit tree farms. Very picturesque and scenic. We're still off 100k odd, 130, 140k off the true Margaret River region. Very pretty country. Nice bit of road too. We are rolling into the Margaret River. Well, what's it famous for? It's Western Australia's uh, wine region. Actually, no tasting today for us on the bikes. We got pulled up by a police officer on a bike just doing a random check. Nice bloke. Just giving us all a heads up. Uh, he's down from Perth. They've had a lot of motorcycle accidents over the last month. So just doing a random check, but he's giving us a heads up on what's nasty and what's not, given it's a long weekend. Is he riding? Beamer too. Is that the Eku 28? Eku 28, do you remember that one? Yeah, but Eku is a German beer. Oh, was that Eku is a German? Yeah, yeah. But I bought it in Belgium. Oh, yeah, yeah, but Eku is the heaviest beer in the world alcohol wise. That's right, it is fantastic. That is extreme, <laughs> really. I yes, drunk it when I was living in France. Sir, I require from you some of your breath. Take a deep breath, blow until I say stop. Blow slowly, don't blast it. Stop. Sir, you've returned a positive reading and I require you to accompany <laughs> me to a police station for the purpose of an evidentiary breath test. Can we have a van here, please, from Perth? We've got a guy in it. <laughs> there you go. Well played, that was very good. <laughs> Coasting along some country roads through all the vineyards, left and right. Very pretty. On the way to Perth. 
via the coast road. So here we are at Tyres for Bikes in uh, Perth. I'm having to have the tyres changed on the Indian. They've done 20 odd thousand kilometres. They still look pretty good actually, but given the roughness of the roads up north, um, thought we could better get changed. After we leave here today, we've got a big ride, 570 k's up to Calvary on the Western Australian coast. So I hope they finish my bike soon. Happy days. So the day hasn't started well, the bike's got new tyres on it, that's all good. And we pushed the time and Dave noticed the heel came off my Harley boots, which they charged me 180 bucks to resole back in Brisbane. No nails in the heel. Fortunately, there was two k's down the road. There was our boot maker. So I'm sitting in the boot maker now waiting for my shoes to, boots to be resold. Happy days. Good morning, day 11, 6.45am and about 20 degrees, heading out of Calbarry, uh, got to fuel up first, we're going to the Skywalk, it's a bit extra kilometres today, making a pretty long day, so 700 odd. to the Kalbari Skywalk. On the skywalk at the Calvary Edge Resort, it has 
two peaks that you can walk out on. Just unbelievable. And you look at the rock faces and the views and the little creeks down below. Thank Christ Dave made us do this because it adds about another 40 or 50 kilometres today. What an unbelievable place. If you're ever in Kalbarri in Western Australia, this is a must-see thing to do. Unbelievable. Got about 300 k's under our belt. Got 400 odd to go. By Christ, we're heading up Highway 1. It's uh, 1120. It's about 34 degrees. By Christ, she's fast country up here. Red dirt, rocky. <laughs> 